you guys honestly thought that I wasn't going to have this out on time, didn't you? It's almost Friday, but it's not quite Friday. It's still Thursday, so I got this up on time. Don't worry. All is well. Uh, what is up, guys? We are back this week for week seven of the NPL Miners. This is the final week before playoffs. If you guys didn't know, we actually already clinched playoffs. I didn't mention that in my last video because I don't think it was clinched yet when I had my game. But I should have known by the time I recorded that I had already made playoffs. So this game is kind of irrelevant except for placement. And um, a very, very good player once said uh, he always played his matches and uh, wins and losses in consequence to where he would place in playoffs and I'm kind of the same way I try to make it so uh, that I place as best as possible for myself for my matchups so you guys are gonna see this game uh, we are up against David Magic. If you guys don't remember, we uh, destroyed him with a Roserade in the GOT. Uh, that's the last time that we played. And David wants revenge, so let's see how this game went. Uh, actually, first let's go over his team. He's got a Mega Kangaskhan, Excadrill, Thunderous T, which is one of his Zemons, uh, Roserade, which you see on screen as well, Suicune, Mimikyu, Lando Eye, Sand Force, also a Zemon, Gigalith, which is there, Como, which is also there, which is another Zemon, Sneasel, uh, which is also on the screen. That's his, the last of his team that he actually brought. And then he's got a Rufflet, which I was sure he was going to bring, but he didn't end up bringing, so I'm kind of disappointed because he said he was going to bring it against me all season. Would have actually done work, but except it does not speed anything. Uh, and then Mosharna. So this is the team that he brought, as you can see. Let's hop right into the match. I already recorded this once, and the audio wasn't recording, so yeah. He's going to lead off with Gigalith. I'm going to lead off with my Tornadus. I do not want to stay in here, so I'm just going to U-turn out, go straight into my Delmise, predict the rocks, and uh, as we'll see right here, he does go for rocks. So this is a free spin for me. Uh, I'm able to get rid of these immediately. I do not want him switching into something like Sneasel and me not being able to get rid of rocks. Uh, however, I don't think Sneasel would have been the best switch because it does take a steel uh, move like Heavy Slam or Anchor Shot, which I do have uh, very... Not very well. So he's going to go for Toxic Spikes now. I'm actually going to get a crit on this Anchor Shot, which is kind of annoying for me. But at the same time, it's fine because he does have the Mago Berry. So I will be able to spin this Toxic Spike away again. Uh, now here he makes, uh, not this turn, but the next turn he makes a, a little bit of a questionable play in my opinion. This Rapid Spin is doing 10% and he's still taking 6% from Sand. Sand's going to end next turn unless he's Smooth Rock anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but he goes for another Toxic Spike. I could have very well just easily stayed in and just kept going for Rapid Spin and gotten rid of the Rose Raid and not have him had Toxic Spikes up. But uh, I am going to go for the U-turn on this turn. I'm going to knock out his Rose Raid. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go into my Lucario because it's Choice Banded. And he goes out into Excadrill. Great play. I wanted to force in the Excadrill so that I could actually switch into my Vaporeon. But it turns out he's Life Orb Adamant and crits me uh, and knocks out my Vaporeon immediately, which is crazy because I was max defense. So that was uh, that was kind of insane. Uh, anyway, right here I'm going to go out into my Delmize. I can take any hit from this thing, including a Shadow Claw. I calced it up. And I am just going to go for the Rapid Spin because this Toxic Spike is annoying me. Uh, had I gone for an Anchor Shot there, the Sneasel would have been dealt with. That might have been the better play. Uh, I did also have Rest on this um, Delmize. I don't want to reveal too much of my sets, but I would have been able to rest up against a lot of his team. Now I'm going to go into Lucario, and he's actually going to Low Kick me, which I was kind of surprised about. Because uh, one, if I got up a, an Agility right there, he was in a bad spot. And two... Um, like, I could easily go for Bullet Punch or E-Speed, and I'm banded, so that would have destroyed him. Anyway, now he's going to go into Thunderous. I'm going to switch into Kieran Black, and he's going to go for a Thunderbolt. And now, predicting a uh, Z-Focus Blast, I'm going to switch out, and David calls that and goes for a nasty plot as I switch into my Thunderous, which was an insane play. Now I'm going to go for Tailwind, as he also has the agility, and I'm like, no way, dude. No way he actually has this set. And now I'm going to switch out into my Lucario, knowing that he has to go for another agility right here. Or he's going to get outsped by my Deante if he kills me. And now I can just go for a Bandit E-Speed, weaken this thing. The problem is, he doesn't have Z-Focus Blast. All he needs to kill my Kirim is a Z-Thunderbolt, guys. Gigavolt Havoc knocks me out from here, which is insane. I mean, technically, it's like a plus two Thunderbolt that's non-resisted. So coming from a Thunderous, it makes a lot of sense that that would knock me out. Now I'm going to go into my last line of defense, my Tornadus. I'm just going to get up a Tailwind. Uh, he's going to go for a Thunderbolt and knock me out. Uh, now I'm going to go into Deancey, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to Mega Evolve right here. I'm just going to stay in regular, which is cheating. It's illegal in the NPL Miners, but I decided to do it as a joke. As a joke, calm down, guys. I get up a Rock Polish, but I stay in regular just so he can knock me out. Uh, as you guys can see, we do lose this game 4-0 because David played amazingly with this Thunderous. I got to give him mad props for that. Uh, good job, dude. Now the thing is... 
Uh, I kind of actually wanted to lose this game. I still brought sets that I thought could work against David, uh, and he kind of caught me off guard. But it's good to know what he feels uh, works best against my team. He even gave me a little insight into one of his sets uh, that I didn't get to see, which was Soundproof uh, Como for Roar Vaporeon. So that's really good to know going into playoffs, because David actually makes playoffs, and so do we. So does Adam the Bee's Knees, who is now the coach of the Kansas City Kakunas. And uh, which was originally the Rowlets, the Temple Rowlets, coached by Parker. Uh, and then the last person in playoffs with us is another one of our losses. And it will be, he, he'll be the person that we end up playing uh, round one. We actually play on Saturday, um, fourth wall broken, but uh, it's Rob Jr., Pokemon TCG Gamer 1288. Uh, one of the top ladder players at the moment. I, I've said it a thousand times. This guy is amazing. Uh, we did lose to him, but we narrowly lost to him the last time that we played. Uh, I was very, very close and had my Focus Blast hit with a Selgor. I would have won that game. Uh, it would have come down to a double anyway, but I'm pretty sure that I would have clutched it out. Uh, anyway, Rob, uh, I, I've gotten to see how he plays against me. I've gotten to see how he uh, builds against me as well. He has two, but I have a lot of... Uh, new things in mind uh, for Rob and he I don't think he's gonna see them coming he might be watching this if you are what's up dude I know you watch my videos so uh, be ready for Saturday but yeah uh, anyway I've got a I've got a few things up my sleeve uh, basically losing this game means that I play somebody that I have already played and that I feel that I have a better matchup against so this actually worked out in my favor unfortunately uh, for all the people that were three and four and were hoping that David would lose so that they could move into playoffs I'm sorry guys, you didn't make it. Uh, this, uh, I don't want all that pressure on my shoulders. Like that, that makes me play worse by the way, when you guys do that. So if you wanna know for the future, if I don't make it into, into the NPL. Basically guys though, what we need to do now is we need to win our last two games. Why, why do I say last two? Because realistically, I only need to win two more. I need to win the uh, semi-final, uh, the, yeah, the conference semi-finals and the conference finals essentially, or Let's say quarterfinals and semifinals. I need to win those. I don't need to win the finals of this league because while there, yes, there is a championship, the end goal of the NPL miners is to get promoted into the NPL, back to where we were originally, back to where we should have stayed but left. So that is my end goal with this. I also have another goal, of course, you guys know of being a coach in the GBA. I'm already an analyst. I'm doing power rankings. Uh, and I've uh, been working on getting better as a league player. I've been working on, uh, I also got a capture card. If you guys didn't know, I'm staring at it right now. Uh, it's beautiful. It's just right there. I can't wait to start using it. I'm trying to think up ideas. So those are my two goals. Get into the NPL, the most competitive league uh, in uh, draft league format, and also get into the GBA, which I consider uh, the most proper and followed league uh, as well, so that's that's gonna really help out the channel. That's that's where I want to see myself in about six months time is a GBA coach and an NPL coach So I'm gonna have to step up my game moving on into the uh, Moving on into the playoffs of the NPL minors so that we can clutch out a couple of wins if we can win two games That's it. We're in immediately. I don't even need to worry about beating Monotui or the Verd or anybody from the other division like that's who's in there and that's who's probably going to end up in finals with me if if i make it so either way your montreal half cells are going into playoffs we do play rob on saturday you guys are going to see that match next thursday so be ready for that uh this is aster signing off i'll catch you guys later ciao